right. Um, this is a rotisserie that I built. I thought maybe I'd uh, show it to you guys. Those of you that want to build them yourself. Don't want to spend $1,800 on one. Um, what it basically is, it's uh, two of the engine stands from Harbor Freight. And I'm on sale for $39. Bucks, so couldn't resist. I picked up two of them. Um, I cut them in half and got some 2x4 uh, tube stock and um, bolted it in, cut it up. Um, down below you see the heavy duty angle on, I put that on there and welded it up, kind of made it where it ties the two together. Um, it works really well. Over here in the front you'll see um, I put some stabilizers on it, uh, people were concerned about turning it. Uh, if you turn it with two people, it's not a big deal. If you turn it with one, then you really should have those down. So um, all I did was uh, one by two tube stock. I made it to where uh, it hinges. Um, then they'll go down and then you lock them in and it pretty much makes the uh, bottom a lot wider for you. Um, turns really easy. Um, I can show you that in a second. I uh, thought I'd just give you a close-up again of what it looks like to motor mounts. Um, the brackets come undone. Hmm. Let's see if I can get this one to come undone. It goes down like this. Put the bolt in. Makes it much wider. Let's see if I can get this one undone. Same thing. Uneven ground, so when I did it, it was level. Anyway, so now you can see it uh, turns pretty easy. Some of the floors that I've done uh, just makes it a lot easier to get up underneath there and finish those up. Uh, I did it kind of close right down here. You can see where El Camino body just barely scrapes. If I were to do that again, I'd turn those bolts around, put the bolts and nuts on the other end. But outside of that, it works really well. Uh, the legs come up when you want to put it inside. It actually uh, turns fairly easy. There you go. Uh, on the back of the El Camino, I welded this bar in, as you can see tied it into the tailgate bolts and then I put this one hole in which I was reluctant to do but I didn't want this bowing in and out. Um, this actually should have gone all the way in but if I did it that way then these would have hit so I put a bolt in here so it can only go in so far but holds it pretty good. Um, haven't had any issues uh, with it falling apart or anything. So when I turn it because of the garage being so low uh, I have to actually slide it in this way and then turn it once it's in the garage. But then again, I'll give you another close up down here. It's just regular angle iron. And then uh, there are the stabilizers and what have you. There's the floors I'm doing. And on this one here, I just put a bar, welded across four bolts, and put it on in there. So, anyway. Uh, probably less than two, well, probably, by the time I bought everything, about 200 bucks. But uh, it's a far cry better than the cheapest one I saw, which was like about 1800 bucks. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I was tickled when everything worked. Nothing fell apart. <laughs> but uh, you can build one of these your own, even if you, if you can't weld, you know what I mean? Just bolt everything together. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I love it when people post things on 
YouTube that you can do yourself and save a ton of money. All right? You take care. Bye-bye.